Okay, in this short uh, tutorial I want to show you how to use a simple um, function within Excel and also how to enter values into the columns which you can see here column A, column B, column C and their rows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and the columns and rows define the cells that's A1 that's C3, that's B5, etc. So what we want to do for this exercise at least is enter into column A a series of latitude values. So in cell A1 we'll give a label latitude and what we want to do is enter individual values into the subsequent cells Okay, starting at z zero, the equator, and increasing by five degrees all the way up to 90 degrees at the pole. Now, you could enter these one by one into each cell manually, but what I want to show you is how you can enter a series of numbers quickly. To do that, you select the first number by clicking. And you'll see it highlights with a black uh, line around the cell and there's a small black square in the right corner. If you pick that little square up by clicking and holding with the mouse, left hand mouse, and dragging down, you can see and I let go the mouse. It's now inserted zeros into all of the empty cells. So we filled down essentially and it's taken the value in cell A2 and inserted it into all the subsequent cells. Now that's not particularly helpful, uh, but we can quickly change that by doing a series. So you go to, on the menu bar here, to Fill, Series, there you go, and we've got a number of options here. Linear, uh, we want the step value, and we just have a constant step value of 5. And we want to stop it at 90 degrees, although in this little case we don't have enough rows, but we could enter 90. What it'll do, it'll now increment each cell by the step value. Okay, so we've got values from 0, 5, 10, 15, in this case up to 45 degrees. To extend that further, you just click the little square and drag down. In that case, we've incremented by 1. Now, to apply the formula, we want to change these degree values into radians. So to convert the degrees into radians and store them in column B. You can store the answers to that fu uh, or formula into column B. So give that a label, radians, so we know what the values are. Okay. Now, to convert the first number you select the cell into which you want the answer to appear or where the answer will be stored, in this case cell B2 so we're going to convert latitude 0 into in degrees into latitude in radians, sorry good, so select the cell in for the answer then go to the formula, formula bar which is up here, this here, this white here, right here click once and type an equal sign which tells Excel we're going to enter a formula or a function and the name of the function funnily enough is radians okay now you can see uh, Excel has given you a quick summary of what the function does it converts degrees to radians which is what we want to do so open brackets and then we have to pass the function a value to work on between the brackets and the angle we want to work on is in cell A2 so click cell A2 and then close brackets return and the answer is performed now to fill down in other words to propagate that formula down automatically so you don't have to type it many many times just select that cell you'll see it tells you that it's a function, then do what we did before. Pick up the little black square, click, hold, drag, done. There you go. 
So I click out there. Now you can see we've converted latitude 0 in degrees to radians, 5 radians, 15 radians, etc, etc. So you can see that the formula, although we typed A2 to begin with, it has automatically incremented the row in the fill down operation. So that's row 7, A7, row 8, A8. Good. So that's a quick way of entering numbers in a column using a series or f f filling a series and then entering a simple formula to convert the values in the first column and to store the answer in the second column.